Episode 1 There was no possible way of taking a walk that day. The cold winter wind had brought with clouds so sombre I was glad of it. I never liked long walks, especially on chilly afternoons. Come, my darlings, John, dear, just one to start with. A one for you, Georgina. Oh, thank you, Ma, Ma. One for you, my darling Eliza. Thank you, you, Mama. Thank you. Are you hungry after your play? Betsy, why did you not let them stay? Why did you let them stay out so late? A minute more, they would have been caught in the rain. Well, it's that Jane, ma'am. I called and called, but she's gone off on her own. I can't find her anywhere. Of course. You mean you may go, Betsy. What does Betsy say you have done? And read, read. A child must not take up her elders until you can speak pleasantly. Remain silently. Boo! Where the dickens is she? Lucy, is he? Georgie! There, Jane's not here. Tell Mamma she's run out in the rain. Bad animal. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Cousin, cousin, sibling, cousin, dolphin, cousin. Call me Master Reed. I want you to come here. That's for impertinence to Mama and me. And for your sneaking ways, getting behind curtains, you rat. What are you doing behind the curtain? I was reading. Show the book. Oh, you are dependent. Mother says you have no money. I'll teach you. Mama says you have no money, I'll teach you, wicked boy. You never stop bullying me, rats. It's, you're like a murderer, rats. You're like a slave driver, Mama. You like the Roman Emperor, Jane, no. Disgraceful, oh dear, dear. If you have heard what she said to me. Did anyone see such a picture of passion? Have it best. Bessie, take her to the Red Room and lock her in there. Oh no, oh. Miss Jane, come on, let me go. He hit me, Bessie. She's always hitting me. Boys will be boys, Miss Bane. Oh, Miss Jane, hold her arms and Miss Rabbit. She's like a mad cat for shame, for shame, Miss I. Hold still, will you? Get in, no. Come here, come here, come here. Now, it's not ladylike to strike a young gentleman, your benefactor's son, your master. Master? How will he be my master? Am I a servant? No. You are less than a servant, for you are nothing, for you, you do nothing for your keep. You just, now sit down here, think of your wickedness. Now, if you don't sit still, we shall have to tie your hands. Lend me your quarters, Miss Abbott, because you break mine directly. Don't tie me up, I don't, I won't stir. I promise. Oh, she never did this before. No, but it, she was, it was always in her. I said to me, so, I said so to Mrs. Before the Mrs. agreed with me. Oh, she's under the hand of little thing. You ought to be aware, miss. You're under no, you are, and you are under obligation to Miss Reed. She were to turn you out. You have to go to poor house. Your dear dead husband, pony, only around, look. Because, he has his mother, your, your mother's brother. So you think on by Miss Eyre, you mustn't leave me in here. My uncle died in that bed. I tried to do my duty, but I'm always punished. I'm only because I'm different. I'm different for you. You won't forgive me. Come, Bessie. We'll leave her. I wouldn't have her heart for anything. Bye. But the ghosts say the prayers, your prayers, child. If you don't repent, a chill chimney and fetch you away. I'll come down your chimney and fetch you away. I'll come in, it's, come, it's just, just, oh, just, let me out, let me out, please. Ah, oh, let me out, please, Abbott, Bessie, I'm frightened, help. Let me out, Abbott, Bessie, please. Miss Jane, are you ill? What a dreadful noise. Went right through me. Well, let me out. Let me out of my room. What for? Are you hurt? Have you seen something? Oh, I saw a light. I thought a ghost was coming. A light, a light just now, you silly child. It's Roderick and the gardener. I saw him crossing the lawn, down to the lawn with a lantern. I thought he was my uncle. You screamed out on purpose. I know your naughty tricks. What was it all this? What's it? This is it all about, Abbott? Bessie, I believe I left orders with the 
that Jane here should be locked in the red room till she came to herself. Jane screamed so loud, Brendan. Let her go, go. Child released Bessie's hand. You cannot shut, say these means. A boar's act face. Particularly in a child. You'll now stay here an hour longer. Aunt Reed, please. Is, is, it is only a condition of perfect submission and stillness. I shall liberate you then. Oh, aunt, let me, me be punished some other way. I cannot do it. I shall be killed. A sight of silence. His violence is almost repulsive. Go and you must disobey me. You never disobey me again. Yes, madam. Yes, madam. And aunt Reed, please, aunt Reed, please. Ah, good morning, Miss Eyre. Good morning. Well, who am I? Mr. Lloyd, a physician. As I lay in that room, Mrs. said, I shall not let you out. You're that, you're the quiet, the uh, that quiet. I thought you were dead when I saw you. Could I eat, you eat a little now? No, thank you. Could you sleep some more? Yes, ah. I shall let, get you, get some rest too, cause I've been up all night with you. I am, I had Sarah, the kitchen for company. Where at he? What is the matter of thee? Am um, I ill? You fell sick in the red room. I was crying, I suppose. You know, you soon be better. Don't try to talk about it. I wonder if you see her. I wonder if she did see him at some at. Mrs. was rather too hard with her. We never mind that now. We have no Jane to sleep. Now, plenty of sleep, Miss Eyre. I'll call you back and see you again this afternoon. Thank you for the days that we never... In the days that we went gypsying, a long time ago, in the days we went gypsying, a long time ago, come, Miss Jane, don't cry. I like a bit of tart, I cannot. Please forgive me, Bessie, please, perhaps later. Doctor, here, Bessie, it's dinner time. What, already up? That's well. Nurse, where is she? She's doing very well, except she won't eat. She won't eat. She, oh, she will when she's hungry. If you are well, you look more, look, she, she should look more cheerful. Come here, Jane. Your name is Jane. Is it not? Yes, sir. Well, Mrs. Jane, eh, you've been crying. Can you tell me what about? Oh, well, uh, pain. You cannot tell me what about, what me about that. Can you tell me what about? I know, sir. I dare say she's crying because she could not go out with Mrs. and carriage. I never cry for such a thing in my life. I hate going out in the carriage. I cry because I'm miserable. Ah, fine, miss. Oh, miss. Well, Jane, what made you ill to not last night? She had a full fall. Well, that's what, like, that's what like a baby again. You can walk at your age. I'm not that, da- I'm not down, but it didn't make, doesn't make me ill. Oh, what would, what would be you? Oh, that would be you, nurse. Go to your dinner. Yes, sir. Well, Jane, this wall didn't make you ill. Well, it did then. I shut up, I shut in the room where there's a ghost till after dark. Ghost, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you, a baby after all? Ha <laughs> ha. You afraid of ghosts? I, of Mr. Reed's ghost, I am. He told me something about the garden, but Mr. Reed died in that room. No one could get in it. At night and go into it at night. The call to shut me in it without a candle. The so called end should never forgive it, forget it. Are you afraid now in daylight? No, but night will come again soon. Besides, I'm unhappy, very unhappy for other things. What other things could you tell me of some of them? Well, for one thing, I have no mother or father, brothers or sisters. You will, cu- you will have a kind of uncle, aunt and cousins. John Reed knocked me down. My aunt caught, shut me up to the red, in the red room. Do you not, do you, don't you think Gateshead Hall is a beautiful house? Are you not indeed thankful for such a prime place to live at? I'm not my house, sir. Abbey says, Abbott says, oh, that's right to be here in the swerving. Ah, boo. You shouldn't be sending, you can't be sending enough to the one leave such a splendid place. I, wouldn't have met me here. My uncle hadn't made a promise the last, the last moments. I, I should be glad to leave it. There was anywhere else to go, but I can never leave Gateshead till I am a woman. Perhaps you may, who knows who will 
Would you like to go to school? I should never like tend to go like to go to school. Well, who knows what what may happen? I must read. Read is back. I see, Mrs. If back, so sir, yes. I'd like to speak to her before I go. I is a bit. She's in the breakfast room. Will you come with me, sir? Thank you. Goodbye, Jane. You don't see you again. Remember, I have not forgotten you. Remember, I have not forgotten you. My disclosure with me. Mr. Lloyd awakened hope in me. For days and weeks past, the set that she knew, now kept me and my children apart from each other than ever. Then a more part of oh, it. For days and weeks past, the set that, that, that she now kept me and my own children apart even more than ever. My only comforts from books caught you again, stealing my books. I'm not stealing, I'm borrowing. And when they're not, when they're not yours, they will be. All oh, this house will be mine one day. I make mean, that, and uh, you have to search, you know, and I have the right to punish you. Mama, mama, mama. She flew at me like a wildcat. Don't talk to me about that, uh, John. I told you not to hear her, man. Yeah. She's not worthy of notice. I do not choose to leave you. As your sisters should associate with her, but they're not fit to associate with me. Why do you come here? Come on, come on, come on! Don't dare rise from that place or utter another syllable to the Friday. What would Uncle Reed say to you if you're alive? What my Uncle Reed is heaven, and you can and can see all you do and think. I know you shut up. You know they shut you up all day. And wish me dead. Oh, 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 without a doubt, Miss Jane. You're the most wicked and abandoned child ever reared under a roof. Bessie woke. Wait, Miss Jane. Yes, Bessie. I brought you some nice gingerbread. Eat it by now. Up now. I shan't stir till you have. A supper she said was good enough to feed a mouse. How would you like some gingerbread or some bread? I'm but to know. This is all I want to thank you. Now be good girl and go to sleep now. Good night, Miss Jane. Good night, Bessie. Good night, Bessie. Miss Jane, take off your pinafore. Have you washed your hands and face? Of course, but hurry. What? When you told your troublesome child, will you be hurry when you told you. Of course, but hurry when you're told your troublesome child. Go direct, down, down directly. I want in the drawing room. This is a little. This is a little girl respecting whom has applied to you. A size is small. What is your age? Ten years. Of that, such. What are your name, little girl? Jane Eyre, sir. Well, Jane Eyre, you not, you are a good child. Perhaps that's less the one subject the better, my Mr. Broadcast. I'm sorry indeed to hear it. No sight so sad as a, as a naughty child, especially a naughty girl. Do you know where the wicked go after the death? I go to hell, and what is hell? You tell me that, a pitiful old briar. And why should you like to fall in that pit and be burning there forever? No, sir, what you must do, do to, what you must, what you must do, what you must do to avoid it. I must keep in good health and not die. And how can, how can you keep good health? Children younger than you, then do die daily. I buried this small girl five years old. Only a day or two since. Lid, those souls is now in heaven. I be feared the same could have not obviously to you since then, called hence. I hope the sighs from the heart you rep, having been this occasional discomfort, or your excellent benefactress, I would give comfort to your excellent benefactress. Do you say your prayers night and morning? Yes, sir. Do you read your Bible sometimes? A pleasure. Are you fond of it? It's a bit shocking. I have a little boy younger than you who knows six palms by heart and much else. Do you ask him me whether he can, he would rather have a gingerbread nut else? Uh, he listens, learn a palm. He says, Oh, my palm is the learn. Angels sing palms. I wish to be a little angel but her alone. He who gets two nuts as a reward for his birthday of palms are not interesting. It proves you are we have a wicked heart. You must pray to God to, to, to change it. You must may sit down, Jane. Mr. Bonehorse, I believe I've irritated you in my letter that 
implicated to you, implicated, implicated in my letter. In your letter, that this girl's disposition carried not quite what I could wish. Should you not admit to her to lowered school? School? Be silent, child. Could you consent to me, sir? Remus, I will glad that if the superintendent teaches Chris to keep a strict eye upon her, above all to guard her against the fault, says he deceit. I mention this young lady, Jane, that you may not attempt to impose on Mr. Bunkhurst. Deceit is indeed a sad fault of a child. It is skin and falsehood and lies that will have the portion the late burning with fire and brimstone. Amen, she shall forever be watched. Miss Reed, I shall speak to headmistress, Miss Temple and the teachers. To the teachers I watch I should wish brought up with a mission she might spend her vacation low lowered. She will not be you will not be burned of her again, Miss Reed. To as you as you and your pupils of like lowered a taught humility as a Christian race, and the worldly pride but be mortified. This state of affairs I quite approve. Plain food, simple attire, hardly one accommodation, constant activity such as order of the day at Wildwood. Never right, quite right, sir. I quite depend upon you receiving this child, the pupil, madam. You may, and I trust she will show herself grateful for the privilege. I will send her to you right then, as soon as possible, of course. I shall wait, the Mrs. Temple, to expect a new girl. It must bid for a good morning. May I still return to Brockhouse Hall a week or so? I stay with my friend, girlfriend and they speak up. They will not permit me to leave him sooner. You will not allow him me to, to leave him sooner? I will see that... Oh, I see that my carriage is ready. Goodbye, Miss Reed. Goodbye, Miss Broomhouse. Broken horse. Augusta Florida. Florida, Master Broken. Belkas, and I am will indeed. Uh uh-huh. There's a battle a book entitled The Elder's Guide. Read it with prayer, especially in account of torments inflicted hell upon these defeatful children. The torments inflicted the hell upon the defeatful children. The defeatful children, you may leave her in our hands. There no softness. Return to your room, you return to your room. I'm not defeatful. I am here, as I would say, I loved you, but I declared, I do not love you. Yes, I, I like you worse of anyone in the world except John Reed. This book about the liar, you will may give it to your child, Georgina. She is the one who tells the lies and not. She is the one who tells lies and not. What more have you to say? I'm glad you have no reason mine. Relation of mine. I shall never call your aunts as long as I live. I have never come to see you when I've grown up. And if anyone asks me how I like you, how you treated me, I say you were very fortunate. You made me sick. You treated me and reminds me cruelty. How dare you can, how can you affirm that lady now? How dare I'm, dare, how dare, Miss Lade, because it's the truth. Oh, you think I have no feelings and do without one bit of love or kindness, but I cannot live so. You have no pity. People think you're a good woman, but you're a bad and hard hearted, you're deceitful. Jane, you, you, you are under attack. Jane, people think you are a good woman, but you are bad and hard-hearted and deceitful. Jane, you are under a mistake. Well, that's the matter with you. Why do you do terrible so violently? Would you like a drink of water? No, Miss Reed. Are there is anything else you'd wish for, Jane? I wish to spare to do your friend. Friend. Do not, please, you do not, you do only, Mr. Brenhurst. I had a bad character. I tell everyone that you, what you are, Jane. You do not understand these things. Children must be corrected for their faults. This seat is right, my fault. Oh, you're a passionate, Jane. There, that you must allow. I return your room, Jane. There's dear. There's a dear. And lay down a little. I'm not, I'm not your dear. Send me to school, Miss Reed. For I hate to live, to live here. For I hate to live li- here. Fred will take you to where the coach stops and wait for you. When you, when, what would you, when would you not bid her goodbye? No. She, that was wrong, Miss Jane. I'm quite right, I was quite right, Bessie. Oh, you're a sharp little thing. 
You've got a way of talking. What makes you so rec- focusome? I shall be away from the, you soon. And so you're glad to leave me. You're not afraid of me, are you? I don't think I shall ever be afraid of you again. Because I'm not used to you. I will be soon. Have another set of people to dread. If you dread them, you dislike you. They dislike you. As so you do, Bessie. I dislike you, miss. In fact, all, in fact, I'm fond of you and all the others. I dare say, if I were ask you to kiss, you wouldn't give it to me. A kiss, then you were welcome. Bend your head down. Off you go, then. Goodbye, my dear Bessie. Goodbye, bye, Gateshead. You may leave her in our hands. There, there will be no softness. There will be no softness.